Hello YouTube, this is Little Mr. Hardcore, aka Robert. I just thought I'd use this as my background. It's a helmet that I bought off a girl who works for the country club. And they had a, when Charlie Fry was with the Browns, they had a Charlie Fry Invitational Golf Tournament. Like everybody that, has anybody signed it? Charlie Fry is, and they signed it and it looks like red or orange marker. Charlie Fry is right there. Uh... Right there's John Daly, Gary Fry, Don Southern, Dominic Hickson, I don't remember who some of these are. There's Early Bruce. Ah, uh, it must have been Orange Marker, I meant. I don't know who, I don't think I know who anybody else. I haven't wrote down who almost everybody is, but there's that. And, uh, this is my, my response video to Madden RQ. It's a hundred sub contest. He's giving away a sweet Chipper Jones, uh, one of one sketch card. And one of the things you have to do is be sub to him, which I'm new sub, but I'll watch your videos. I, anybody I sub to, I usually watch your videos. And it says your favorite card you pulled. I don't own the card anymore because at the time I needed money and I was selling just about every good card I had. But I pulled a, uh, I think it was a timeline, I think is what it was called, from Great Iron Gear. It was, uh, what, two years ago? I think it was two years ago. It was numbered to 15. It was a Joe Montana autograph. As soon as I pulled it, it was like the box was horrible. There wasn't nothing good in it. I pulled it at a card show, and my hands were shaking. I'm like, at first I thought, because it looked like a Steve Young autograph. I was like, I got a Steve Young autograph, which is still good. And it's numbered to 15, I turned it over. I was like, no, it's Joe Montana. And I went and showed the... The guy, because it was a guy that normally don't come to the car show, and I bought a box of his car, or I bought the grand gear, got that, and he's all, oh, so I see you're buying all my good stuff, and then I was like, alright, if I'm buying all your good stuff, I'll buy another box, after I got the Joe Montana. Bought the second box, and I was like, I pulled my hits, like, first few packs, and then I realized I had a hot box on my second box. Every, every pack, but I think, like, one had a hit. And it, it was awesome. I think I ended up getting my uh, Marion Barber patch. Was I mean? There seems like when you get a hot box, the card, the hits ain't as good. But there's used to get a lot more hits. But I, I think the best one was a Marion Barber patch. But it just blew me away. I pulled that. I think it, I'm pretty sure it was numbered to 15. But it was a timeline autograph of Joe Montana. Yeah, I think is my favorite. Uh, or yeah, that's probably my best pull ever. I did another card I did pull that I still have is a uh, I bought a randomly our Myers has a, a hobby boxes and I bought a hobby box that was resealed but it was searched it had no hits in it some of the packs only had two cards in it so I went back in and told them that my box was searched so they let me get the last box they had of and it was same year Grand Gear and I didn't get really nothing but my very last pack I pulled a jersey autograph rookie of Darren McFadden I think it's numbered uh, 50 or 100 something like that but I was still pretty it's not as good as the Joe Montana but it's still a pretty cool pull when I didn't get nothing in the last box all right just, I think that's about it peace